through Walmart, check out the store real quick. Just give everybody kind of an idea of what they're looking for. You know, a lot of times people are thinking, well, you know, I want a meal prep. I want to start doing better for myself. And what they don't realize is it's not that easy. Just take it one more step farther, kind of have a little bit of product knowledge, and we're going to show people some things what to look for and just some uh, kind of mismarketing. So right now we're going to kind of look at chicken. You know, a lot of times you're prepping, you're going to go for what you think might be cost effective. Let's go to a store brand because we're going to assume that that would probably be the worst. You know, and this is coming in at $1.89 a pound. And, you know, you're probably doing your math trying to prep at home. But, you know, what you got to figure out is 15% of this is solution, right? So water, salt, broth. It, they're already flavoring it for you. Then you're gonna count your sodium and everything else, right? How much salt you're putting on it. This out of the bag, before you touch it, before you put anything on it, already has 200 milligrams of serving. You know, all of a sudden, 10 pounds turn into really only 8.5 pounds. It hasn't even been cooked, it hasn't even lost any weight yet. So all of a sudden now, again, this becomes a bit harder to do at home and it is misleading. We're not getting 10 pounds of chicken and we're getting, you know, we're paying for water, we're paying for salt and we're paying for something that has higher sodium. So you're going to go over, you're going to say, well, you know, of course, that's a store brand product. Let me try to get something, you know, a little bit more. I mean, that's $1.89 a pound. I'm going to spend $3 a pound and I'm going to buy a name brand chicken breast. 15% solution, right? Right off the bat. 260 milligrams of sodium. And this is $3 a pound. So in trying to do better for yourself and spend twice the amount of money almost, you got the same exact thing you were getting anyway. So, you know, what do we do? Our eye catchers, marketing, and signs. And if you turn around, you're gonna kind of see, right? Um, this is natural poultry. Um, and, and, and this isn't exclusive to this store. This is gonna be every store and every trend, and it's all gonna have the same look. And they're gonna tell you that there are no antibiotics and that there are, um, this is hormone free. Well, it's all hormone free. You know, it, it, it's nothing to brag about. All you're saying is that, you know, it, it's prohibited by the federal law to have hormones or steroids in the food, in the chicken, so you're pretty much saying uh, we're following the law, you know, I, I, we're doing what we're supposed to. So if we come over, and again, we're at 15% solution, uh, and we think we're going to, again, spend more money, and well, surely I can actually just buy chicken and get what I'm paying for, and not really an unadulterated product, and we're going to get some breast portions, and again, this is already going to be 10%. 10% and, you know, almost $5 a pound, right? No added hormones or steroids. Read the fine print. Federal regulations prohibit the use of added hormones or steroids in chicken. So, you, this is what people see. And they, you know, we automatically think we're doing better for ourselves. And it's just marketing it's just advertising it really doesn't tell the full story and there's nothing worse than when we finally take the step and get motivated to do better for ourselves we're going to commit time money energy and we're assuming that there's going to be truth in labeling and you know unfortunately we get caught up in the marketing and we get misled you can see this is everywhere across other brands um, I think this one is above 5% retained water, retained water or injected with solution. Um, and again, this is 75 milligrams of sodium, so it does get better. You know, it also is going to matter, you know, possibly to the cut of it. So all of a sudden you can have something that's a 2% solution for a breast, and then all of a sudden you go to Oh, it's organic, it's farm-raised, grain-fed, and then, you know, it's a different cut. Now, all of a sudden, it's a drumstick or a thigh, and there is more, you know, there's 6% or whatever it is. So, um, don't just assume that, you know, there is brand loyalty. It depends. It depends on the cut of meat, 
depends on the brand. Um, it just is going to take some consumer awareness. Right. So, you know, again, um, fresh, frozen, does it matter? I mean, you know, especially, guys, when we're talking about ease of, um, you know, product and just convenience. So there are fully cooked chicken breast shrimps, 100% um, all natural ingredients. Um, no antibiotics ever, right? Um, no added hormones or steroids, but we already told you that's bullshit. Anyway, there's no point of even talking about it. Um, I come with zero unicorn horns on my head. You know, every time you see me, I, I promise you that. Um, there's no point, it, it's, it's a moot point. Um, but before we put anything on this, there is for only, you know, for only three ounces. So remember, if they're gonna pick and choose, Stay in shape, what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? Keep it healthy. Uh, <laughs> they are going to pick and choose the serving size. So don't look at this and automatically assume, okay, it's 110 calories again for a four ounce serving. They bumped it down to three ounces. And um, for that three ounces, you are going to get 450 grams of sodium. Before you put anything on, before you put anything on, your no antibiotic ever you know, chicken breast, boneless, skinless, 100% all natural ingredients. It's already the worst thing for you. I mean, it, it's just, it's garbage. It really is. So, um, you know, but it's green. It's a green bag and it's a reputable company. And there's like crops and stuff in the back. We're looking at our highlights because this is what's important, right? No hormones added. Couldn't be any hormones in any no antibiotics. Okay, well, that is an open can of worms because chickens raised with no antibiotics ever. Well, some of that is up to interpretation, meaning they might have been raised with no antibiotics, but a lot of manufacturers at least do an antibiotic while they are in an egg want to kind of eliminate disease while it's in the egg and then after that point there is no more antibiotics in it or by the time it is brought to slaughter there are no more antibiotics in it again the pros and cons of that that's up to you to decide but again it's just this is what they're touting this is the big letters the bold letters and you know what's really small is the five percent ten percent you know but the thing that is big that we see on there is what really doesn't tell the whole story. So hopefully that helps and gives you somewhere to go from chicken. You know, price doesn't always matter. I just showed you it doesn't. Matter of fact, if we go down here to some of the less expensive chicken, you know, chicken breast. Now again, this is still gonna be no hormones added. What their policy is with Antibiotics, I really don't know. It would take some working into, but this is actually less than 2%. So, and it's gonna be the cheaper product at $2 a pound. And the sodium on this is 40 milligrams. So, you know, there's some trade-offs here. You know, in this case, it was a less expensive product. The no frills, um, they didn't really come out and say no added hormones, no added antibiotics. Um, it really just takes all of us to take that extra few seconds, become aware of what is in our food, become aware of labeling, and you know, just exercise our due diligence when we're buying this. It is a lot of this is going to be up to us as the consumer to figure out what we want to put into our bodies. Because if we leave it up to the businesses, if we leave it up to the marketers, everybody has something on a shelf. They want us to eat all of this. This is all, you know, supposedly meant for our consumption. And, um, you know, is there room for some of this stuff in moderation? And, you know, absolutely. Uh, it's probably a whole nother video. But, you know, right now we're just kind of trying to educate somebody on the meats and potatoes of it all, so to speak, um, you know, and uh, give you some food for thought, pun intended.